morning the topic of my presentation is importance of presence across social media platforms for career career advancement the basic premise of my presentation is the point which i have noticed that students uh, tend to uh, make accounts relevant accounts on social media platforms very late towards the end of their degree and they do not tend to usually uh, professionally use the social media platforms for getting right jobs by the time they end up their uh, finish their degree so that is what i am suggesting that they should use it uh, professionally so beginning the presentation different students have different skills some are good in uh, creation of audio visual materials some are good writers so uh, different social media platforms are going to be suitable for different people like there will not be students who are good at everything so they should but they might be good at something but as teachers they should be uh, motivated to use all the plat all the relevant platforms because we have such subjects in our curriculum if we uh, if done rightly they can uh, by the end of their degree they'll be able to use all the platforms so how should the student actually start doing it they should start following pages of the relevant companies in whichever company they wish to work or say for example if they are interested in a certain skill so whichever uh, in uh, important person on the so that particular platform any particular platform for that matter important person doing that skill uh, very well on that platform or relevant companies that should be followed by them many companies today post job profiles vacancies and those job profiles should be read by the students while they are still pursuing their degrees and they should make sure that by the time they finish their degree they are actually working towards fulfilling whatever is the requirement of that job profile so when they finish they will not end up in a problem ki naukri nahi mil rahi hai they will already be fulfilling whatever is the job requirement of whichever field they want to go into so they should keep going through the vacancies and keep on working towards whatever is the requirement of those companies in the area in which they wish to work the next point is you need to add relevant hrs to your connection be it uh, linkedin facebook anywhere connect with people network so another thing is if you follow like if you follow the companies relevant companies on social media platforms you get to keep a tab on what, whatever is happening in the company whatever content they are coming out with whatever change of leadership is happening so when you sit for your interviews by the time you finish your degree you already have a lot of knowledge of whatever has happened in the past in that company and that can simply be easily be gained by following them on the right platforms so that needs to be done uh also students need to continuously share online their projects assignments achievements it should not be in the form of irrelevant posting but whatever good work you are bringing out during the tenure the during three year tenure that needs to be done online uh, posted online now how can that be posted online we'll move to the next slide first going to the benefits uh if you regularly post online when you sit for an interview your name is usually on the top of mind of the people who are interviewing you also uh if you connect online if you network well you are you get in touch with the alumni network of the college you are graduating from those alumni are the people who are going to probably get you some jobs because they are already inside that setup so again that is one more help you appear in the searches in today's time before your interview or probably after your interview companies tend to search you online so if you have continuously posted throughout your te uh, the degree tenure you will end up in the initial uh, your name will be up there in the search engine and that will help your work will show when they search you online resumes and cvs today no doubt require um, links to be post uh, links to be shared links of your linkedin profile or your facebook profile or your instagram profile if you are a photographer you are expected to share links in resumes and cvs of your social media platforms so if you have spent time uh, putting out your work on that social media platform by the time you end up sharing your link for uh, sharing your resumes or cvs for job that link will have some uh, good material available next thing is 
when you are posting your portfolio ends up being developed naturally at by the end of the degree you don't have to go around collecting ki pure 3 saal mein kya acha kaam kiya tha ab usko collect karke ek portfolio banana hai bhale job ke liye ho ya fir masters mein interview mein universities like jamia they require uh, portfolios to be shared so by the time you finish if you are doing this regularly you already have a portfolio in hand you just have to t- probably take a print out of all of it and if you keep on doing this you learn to use all platforms well now moving on to the recommendations for the teachers how to make sure that the students are actually doing it first thing is all student uh, all subjects uh, all subject teachers should have such exercises in which uh should have such assignments or exercises done in class in which the material can be shared on at least some platform say for example if you're getting some audio visual content made tell the student that you will check it online like they need to post it online or you on youtube if they're writing a blog multiple blog uh, platforms are available all of that can be shared online provide feedback online itself if possible like the basic initial feedback can be provided online itself and if from our end we make it a compulsion that you whatever work you are doing you need to post it online the even the students who are not that interested in doing all of it or they are not comfortable in coming out and making developing an online persona they will at the end of the day have to do it if they see that okay the feedback will also come online uh if the in subjects like mle probably there are only theoretical aspects of it there are no practical uh, aspects in the subject so in subjects like these class assignments can be done or probably such group discussions regular practical in class activities that uh, can be done which again can be posted online along with pictures and a write up by the student as to whatever they did in the class it can be related to the recent topics anything anything related to the subject so that helps the student uh gather gd related skills also by the time they graduate and again content to be posted online is available with them whatever uh, if we continue doing this exercise i feel whatever best content is being posted by students online the best of it can be carried forward from the handle social media handles of the college also so if some student is really good in making youtube videos or instagram uh, pictures are good they have good following and all college platform social media platforms don't have to work separately to create content for their handles naturally whatever work is being done by the student best of it can be carried and it helps both parties that way so that is it from my end thank you what social media handles are you specifying and what time would you suggest is the best time to have these social media handles ma'am uh, i feel uh, this is uh, this has to be the round the semester kind of activity Uh, as and when you finish with the work post it online the submission should be online so when every submission becomes online this is around the semester activity no specific time is there this has to be a habit a submission habit also linkedin i uh, suggest is a general platform that every student should have account on right from when they start their degree in the first year itself other than that subject specific platforms can be there for subject like photography instagram would be more suitable for subjects uh, for other subjects like uh, audio visual medium youtube can be used so whatever the teacher feels is a suitable platform for the assignments that are there in the subject that platform can be chosen so linkedin uh, as soon as we make the profile uh, so linkedin always ask us to go for the premium membership right so what do you suggest for the students is it suitable to go for a premium membership or we can you know work out even teachers also can go with the free version and you know take all the whatever uh, the you know uh, the uh, things they are providing the uh, all the uh, specifications and the advancements that they are providing is so is like they are okay like we can accept that and we don't go for a premium option okay uh, sir um, personally speaking for myself i started using the premium version only one month back all my student life what i've used is the basic uh, linkedin uh, that they offer because i was usually j- because as students we just have to update whatever is being done and add the relevant platform uh, relevant people 
uh, the advancements which they offer in premium version are usually messaging directly i think and your resume or cv coming up uh, in initial names so when you are pursuing your degree you are not actually looking for a job so i feel for that 3 year tenure just remain on the basic version and we are when you are actually probably in the field uh, or when you are shifting jobs then you might need the premium version and then you can go for it okay thank you so much yeah so i want to ask uh, uh, what exactly is your social media usage uh, i'm asking this uh, from the point of view the presentation that you have made one two how much you have been using a social media platform for uh, giving assignments or accepting assignments what has been your experience till date sir uh, as uh, students this was something i uh, came across in masters our professors particularly for subjects like new media when we had to write blogs and all they made sure that the class starts a blog the start the initial process of starting a blog regular posts on it all of that was um, given to the students to manage them uh, manage on their own feedback was given right there so that is where like it was too late it should have been done back in bachelors itself but the first time i came across it was in masters personally till now i have not been using it so well uh, for in my personal uh, experience for assignment submissions also so this is something uh, i feel if we uh, because the problem i encountered is as to why i was not using it that when one teacher asks for online submissions and the other takes offline submissions there is a lot of confusion on from the student point of view so probably if we uh, make this official like for for all the faculty members then the things become you know things come down uh, in a in a pattern there's no confusion regarding kiska assignment kaise submit karna hai kisko online preference hai kiska offline preference hai so that confusion i feel needs to be sorted out and when all of us follow the similar thing that online submissions will be there then there will be some semblance to it yes sir i just want to uh, know that uh, the submission of the assignments by the students on the social platforms should be before checking or after checking what happens is sometime if i have done something you know i don't know whether it's right or wrong if i post and that will be viewed by so many people right so uh, we need to decide on this that after uh, evaluation or after certain uh, you know instruction by the teachers that modify this change this and then you need to upload on social sites or before sir i feel uh, public feedback uh, the students when they'll enter into journalism they'll be encountering a lot of public feedback so if they uh, get used to this habit initially in the initial years itself that they will post their work online and they will get public feedback Uh, so that will be good for them so i feel submission from the students point of view should be before the teacher is checking it if the teacher encounters that yes major errors are there in it they can probably not uh, uh, post the whole feedback online itself write few words there so the student feels online feedback is done and then talk to them personally one to one that okay this needs to be done in a better way so i would suggest that thank you फर्स्टली जो प्रंजा ने पॉइंट उठाया कि देर हैज टू बी ए पैटर्न एंड द असाइनमेंट्स हैव टू बी हैव टू बी ऑर्गेनाइज वेयर इन ऑनलाइन सबमिशन आर देयर दिस इज समथिंग विच हैज टू बी डेलिब्रेटेड एंड डिसाइड वेरी रिसेंटली वी डिड दिस एक्सरसाइज वेयर इन ऑल द टीचर्स वर आज टू सबमिट देयर लिस्ट ऑफ असाइनमेंट्स नाउ एट दैट लेवल दैट शुड हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड वन टू uh i mean this has to be discussed and decided whether we will go for online submission of assignment or yes uh, to what extent uh, because every teacher is free whichever uh, subject he or she is taking to uh, decide what assignments are to be given obviously in consultation with me and balam ma'am and with our approval and we have very recently completed that exercise uh two uh we have to uh, classify whatever social media platforms we use uh, classify for the purpose of uh, learning and training not every platform can be used uh, the same way uh, also uh, either i mean we decide if there is a video exercise uh, and that has been given i will never prefer uh, that uh, that is posted uh, straight on youtube uh, for the reason 
because the initial learning has to take place only then after a certain level the concerned teacher can decide that uh, this is the assignment which can be posted online. Others assignment, uh, every assignment need not to, to be posted on YouTube. Uh, because this is something which we need to fight as teachers wherein everybody, uh, I mean every second year student is a YouTuber and they are posting online. There is nothing wrong in that. But uh, you know, what is important to understand that in a media school, uh, we all are here, I mean teachers are here to train and students are here to be trained. Uh, before you are trained, uh, if you are using any digital platform or any social pl media platform, that will do more harm than good. So, as a sare students who kuch bhi post kar dete YouTube pe, I am never in support of that unless until you learn the trade, you learn the tricks, you learn the skills, and you learn the grammar. So that is that is why this is a structured program, and every student has joined that, and we are here to train them. So in the initial stage, in the name of using social media for learning, we should not allow uh, these things to happen. Even if it is decided for some assignment that some YouTube uh, submission can be there, that can be made private and that, cannot, that should not be made public. The teachers who are teaching video subject, they can add something on this. Now as far as the LinkedIn is concerned, it's a social media platform but with a difference. Now here the question of uh, taking the premium does not arise for the students. Because the real challenge that we have been facing, I have been facing here in DME Media School for the last four years, that uh, students uh, primarily do not have their LinkedIn account. And if we persuade them to open their LinkedIn account, they will open it, but they will never be active on that. They will uh, hardly, I mean, we can even conduct a survey on this. How many students uh, in, the, I mean, all three years they have their LinkedIn account. Uh, the number may not be very encouraging. Uh, this is despite the reason that we conduct the LinkedIn workshops every time. We, uh, we motivate the student to open their LinkedIn account, but that does not happen, even if it is happening, because I have the first hand experience of this because uh, we, uh, I mean, in, in the newsletter exercise, whenever any student is writing something for newsletter, we, uh, we do the hyperlinking and link the author's name with the uh, LinkedIn profile. So every time we find that this student has written his LinkedIn profile, nahi. last time we hyperlinking me this problem, aayi thi. then uh, I asked Madhav and Priya to ensure that the LinkedIn account is opened of that student and then we put the hyperlink. So the problem is that the account is not open. दूसरी प्रॉब्लम है खोल भी लेते हैं तो एक्टिव नहीं होते अपनी प्रोफाइल पूरी नहीं करते और मैंने नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स के केस में ये देखा है कि किसी के पांच कांटेक्ट्स हैं किसी के दस कांटेक्ट्स हैं किसी के बीस कांटेक्ट्स हैं तो माधव पहली चीज तो है कि वहाँ ठीक करें प्रीमियम तो बहुत बात की बात and how it is helpful, I can uh, tell you with my experience, every week I am offered four or five jobs. Uh, so uh, despite the fact that I don't need any job, but uh, still the offers are there. So, 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 so for students, I mean any student can imagine the benefits, even a teacher can understand the benefits of that. And uh, I don't count, but a lot of good assignments have come to me through LinkedIn. I mean, not the job part, lot of good assignments. I mean, Facebook approached me through LinkedIn. I mean, so many organizations for so many things. So, so many people approach me internationally. So many people approach me and uh, try to get my help in this thing or that thing. So professionally, it's, uh, it's the best thing. So it cannot be equated with YouTube. YouTube has its own significance. Insta has its own. So we have to have this uh, distinction understandable among the teachers and among the students and then we decide how which platform is to be used as far as the submission of assignment is concerned i must add here further that we have cold poll so this erp system is already there which we are supposed to use we use it 
and uh, submission of assignments can be there and once it's approved from there then the selected assignments can be posted on YouTube or any such platform because once it's done it's carrying the name of the student so his or her name is involved the DME media school is involved institutions credibility is also there so not everything should be posted uh, on the uh, on social media platform uh, on the ground that social media has to be used more and more thank you